through YouTube with your boy JP Productions and welcome back to my channel. Please, before we get started, I'm gonna need y'all to spam that like button, subscribe, turn on my post notifications, and share the channel because it really helps me expand and build a great audience just like y'all. I really appreciate it. Now let's talk about shooting slumps. <sighs> Man, I don't know about y'all, but I hate shooting slumps with a passion. Especially if shooting is your main bread and butter, it sucks, but 95% of the time, it's all mental. You see, the brain is a very strange but strong asset of ours. But if you treat it poorly, you better expect poor results. Everyone goes through a slump at times, even the pros. But what separates them from the average player is that their mental is on a whole different level. They might miss over 10 shots in a row, but best believe that they know that shot number 11 is going down. So, how do you get out of them? Well, there are two major things that you must do. Number one, keep shooting your shot. The game might be over and let's say that you went 0 for 12 from behind the arc, which is terrible, but it happens, all right? No joke, but I better see your butt back in the gym shooting some shots such as free throws, stationary catch and shoot shots, shooting some game speed, pull ups and etc. If you want to do good the next game, you better get in the gym and get that rhythm back man and shoot your shots. By seeing the ball go through that net, it automatically triggers a green light in your mind like, oh man I'm about to hit it again man, let's get to it again, come on now. As far as the second top key is having faith in your shot. If you don't believe in you, then no one will. Around. It takes a, uh, a special kind of confidence to do what Steph did tonight. You know, I think he was like, oh, for his first 10. You know, I would have quit after like four shots. You know, <laughs> like, it's not my night. Uh, but guys like Steph, um, MVP caliber players, uh, they find a way to turn a, a bad night into a good one. And that's what he did. He just stayed with it. He's got the ultimate confidence in himself. You know, it is frustrating in the moment when you, you know, so your shot feels good and go in. Or over the course of a couple of games, you might not be shooting as well as you, as you want to, but you worry about that in practice and, you know, in between the games. But if you let, you can't let that kind of doubt creep in when you're out there on the floor, or else you're not going to be the player that you, you want to be. Get into the habit of practicing daily and build up that confidence within yourself. If you're ever in a slump, just do the following two things that I just mentioned, and I promise you that you'll be back on track in no time. Although shooting slumps may take up to one quarter, two quarters, or even the whole day, it's okay. Whenever you get the time after that game you play, get back in the gym and replay the basics, man. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share the channel for more lit content like this. What's the worst slump you've ever been through throughout your basketball career? Drop it down in the comments. It's your boy JP Productions. Till next time. Thank you.